speak with Momodi. Okay. Well, I have to do that anyway, so... You know, once again, it's just a given that that's going to happen. Scions of the Seventh Dawn. <laughs> well, thank you for releasing that secret to me, Ida. Well, now we're more acquainted with the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Well, that's excited music. And well, it should be, I mean, honestly. It was quite an impressive, uh... Beautiful city. Quite an impressive action that I carried out, if I do say so myself. And I do. Oh god, guys, stop making so many particle effects in here. People have got to work. Also fix my stuff. Yes, repair all my stuff. Now close that. Thank you. Uh, talk to this person. Talk to the talk to the person. Oh, thank goodness. off the carriage, eh? <laughs> what was the description? You'll have to be more specific. Okay. Oh. You then. Oh. Did I meet a veer? Okay. My name's Rhett. Rhett Zephyr. You have a good one. I'm sorry your fiancé got killed by a monster. Not triple? Only double? I don't know if we can be friends. Some big yawns going on. I know, I need to talk to you about the actual mission. Don't glitch out on me. There we go. Hmm, get some new jewelry. Sure. <laughs> uh, consider myself warned. If you say so. I would imagine that would be true. Phanalin. Awaken Sands. Fair enough. Okay, I gotta go to the Waking Sands in Vesper Bay. Now, where the heck is that gonna be? Is that out the other way? Western Thanalan. 
Waking Sands, Waking Sands. Oh, there it is, Vesper Bay. So if I pop over to... What is this? Horizon. I should be able to get there fairly quickly. Can I teleport to Horizon? I can. Off we go. Shazam! It's nice to have that option. I mean, I know I'm wasting money a lot, but uh, I'd rather waste money than time, seeing as I rarely buy anything in the game. I might buy some dyes at some point, but you know how it is. Okay, so I'm going to be heading off in this direction here. Gotta turn back on my song. Because I still don't have a mount for some reason. I'm sure I'll get one at some point. Just want a chocobo. I know these CE people have got like some tiger thing and a you know, also a thing. You know what I mean. The words that I'm trying to say that aren't coming out of my mouth because it's late, as you can see. And I'm tired. It looks like there's a very low-level fate going on. And I don't know if that's something I should get involved in or not. But I feel like getting involved in a fate is always a good idea. Level sync. help them out, see what we can do to make their lives a little bit easier. Oh, you're getting Shazam, sir. You may not like it, but it's going to happen. You're going to learn... Oh, that Midge Swarm got caught in the middle. I don't feel particularly bad for it. Away, sir. Thick shell? I don't think they want to be taken in. Anyway, grab some experience from that. Worth the time, worth the effort. Now, let's get back to where we were going. And run the way we were running. Can't quite keep up with this chocobo, unfortunately. Doing my best, though. I mean, I'm, I'm keeping up with them better than I thought I would, all things considered. Hello, chocobo keep of Vester Bay. I guess I've already been here. Of course I've already been here, because right there... Over here is where you do, I think, this might be where you do the dies mission. I can't remember. It's been a while. But there are some traders here. I wonder if these people sell dies. Iron Elmo. <laughs> yeah, regardless of where I go, these mittens aren't going to be as good. These gloves are alright. They're not these gloves, these belts. I'm almost level 23, so I guess I could pick this up if I wanted, but it's not cheap. Yeah, why not? What about dyes? Do you have any dyes? Maybe that's under field. No, this is for crafting. No dyes there. Mender. I don't think I need anything there unless you have dyes also. But you don't seem to. So we'll just leave that the way it is. 
probably sell you some stuff that I don't need, though. Like, I've got a lot of extra hats right now. I can't sell most of those, though. 18, level 14, 16, 5, 20. Mm, might need those at some point. 15, 17, 13. If I go back to Pugilist, I'm going to keep needing this stuff, so I guess I won't be able to sell it just yet. Do we have anything new here? Alright, that's the one that boosts vitality, which I don't particularly need. Don't need that. And this ring, not so great anyway. Alright, Waking Sands. Where's that? Looks like we don't walk in there, but we do come over here. Apparently we can't jump that fence very successfully. Hello, Tataru. What can you tell us about the future and our place in it? And fashion, apparently. Trollololo, indeed. So, I didn't, but what else? Goggles. Goggles McGee. No, my name's Goggles McGee. Thank you. The antecedent? Okay. It's like the precedent, but opposite. Well, I guess we will go into the solar. No, but seriously. Where where do I find the solar? Is it downstairs? Ah, here we are. Take me into the solar, please. talk to her through here into the solar scion of the seventh dawn I've got business within how did she get word so quickly the other wristband what am I currently wearing on my character leather wristbands strength plus one dexterity plus one Hard leather wristbands, they also increase my accuracy. I guess I'll take those then. Why not? So you are the adventurer of whom I've heard so much. <gasps> Voice acting. Well met, friend. My name is Minthelia, and I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Nice to meet you. I'm Red I have Zephyr. awaited your coming. She said. You have a you have a branch stuck to your robe. Please, be at ease. You are among friends here. Then people who apparently don't recognize a branch when they see one. So. No doubt you are right to best with questions, but have patience. All will be revealed in time. I'm trusting you on that one. First, let me begin by telling you who we are and what we do. Please tell away. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, 
an order that transcends political boundaries. Our single objective is the preservation of the future of Eorzea. Simple enough. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. The Optimus Primals? Their existence is a bane upon Eorzea. Nay, the world at large. And we have striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. I don't know why the sound sometimes gets all choppy in this game. Our order is home to a number of individuals who, like you, possess a rare and special talent. Tell me more about how rare and special this I am. This talent takes various forms, but one holds particular interest for us. Yes? Tell me, have you ever experienced a sudden, inexplicable loss of consciousness? Well... At least one of those things. Have you ever had the sensation of being pulled away from reality? Felt as though you were hovering in space? A mind without a body? Like astral projecting? All these things are the manifestations of your talent. Yours is the power to transcend the boundaries of the soul. A power known as the Echo. Echo. The Echo allows you to pass through the walls of a man's soul and hear the resonations of his past. And hear the buzzing feedback of wherever this is happening. You will be there in his memories and see things as he saw them. You may even interact with that which you see, though you cannot change the outcome of events. Is that a dare? For another blessing, the Echo will enable you to know a man's mind even if you cannot comprehend his words. In short, the Echo is a truly extraordinary power. And this power is strong within you. It is only a shame that we cannot use it whensoever we choose. Yeah, that would be nice. That's right. I, too, possess the Echo. echo, echo. My name is Mitra. With that established, let us return to the subject of the Primals. Okay. So long as they exist, the realm cannot take so much as a single step towards true peace. Look at that broken staff Measures back there. Measures must be taken. Measures which transcend boundaries, be they of faction, race, language, or creed. And to do so, the Scions require the aid of those with our talent. Make no mistake, the Echo will be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Without there are a lot it, of, uh... we cannot hope to save the realm. There are a lot of blonde-haired whiteys in this group. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea. The glory. But I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. I have summoned you here with a purpose. Why else would the gods entrust man with a gift so extraordinary, if not to have him use it? Some manifest destiny going on and here, so eh? And so I implore you. Lend us your power. I'm not going to have a choice in this matter, so sure. Why not? Oh, voice acting's done. Yay, retainers! I don't know anything about retainers. Invisible papers! Truly, these are amazing people. No wonder they've managed to keep themselves so secure. Direct transmission is what that method of teaching is called. The more you know. Is it Lali Lulelo? Oh, Wild Rose. Okay. 
That was the name of a crazy political party. In Alberta. Do. Okay. So I can get retainers, I guess. And while I'm here in this massive press of people and their things. Ah, there we go. Message finally showed up. Okay. Uh. Whether or not you'll pledge your support. Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, it doesn't seem like I have much choice in the matter if I want to I continue the story. Voice acting. Wonderful. I knew you wouldn't let us down. Well, that has yet to be seen. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm good at letting people down. But come. I would introduce you to your friends in the Order. Well, they're not friends yet. Tell they're me, just does colleagues. Does the name Charlian ring any bells? Yeah, I've heard it that. It used to be one of Eorzea's six city-states and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. The Charlians were the keepers of wisdom both old and new. Their mastery over magic and ether was unsurpassed, and even the Garlians knew to fear them. Why does it have to be magic with a K? Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. Let's brag some more. When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. These noble men and women were called the Archons. You need their permission to access each part of the planet M478. No! Those same brave souls stand before you now. Hi. The masked woman is Ida, and beside her is Papa Limo. The two are charged with surveying oh my the God. Elves wood. We've met. Welcome. Thanks. You already know who I am. I had every confidence that you would agree to help us. Cool. Me too. That's nice. I'm glad we agree on that. I'm glad they disagree on everything. Okay, my turn to introduce you. That there is Thancred. That's not a name. He is our man here in Ulda, Jewel of the Desert. You're just you're making up words, Thancred. Welcome to the team. Thank you. If I may, the lovely maiden beside me is named Yastola. Limsa Lominsa has the pleasure of being under her care. You guys really like getting out of yourselves, don't you? Greetings. Hello. Last, but not least, is Orianger, who presides over all affairs within these halls. Pray seek him out whenever you have questions. I have a question right now. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. Okay. The words of a dear friend. I am glad of our meeting. Sure, me too, then. At the Battle of Cartineau, our leader was taken from us. But we did not stray from our purpose. Yeah, keep bragging. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent, and together established the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Along Good job. with the Archons, those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. A lot oh, of talking going I on here. Also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. Tataru. She ensures that everything runs Not smoothly. Tataru. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Okay. In time, I hope you will come to think of us as family. Well, co-workers. We'll start there. But without further ado. I would assign you your first task. Yay. Orianger, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. 
They arrived but recently. We have received a request for aid from the Immortal Flames. They are here. Thancred, would you do the honors? It would be my pleasure. Some days ago, a crystal caravan registered to Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern was waylaid uh, and divested of its cargo. Up upsetting. But there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shanty town outside the city. A kidnapping and robbery. At a glance, one would assume the involvement of bandits, kidnappers, and coincidence. Well, I mean, you might. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, and the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. However, this time we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. Aye, the evidence left behind implicates the Amolja, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. Not Ifrit, the fire god, demon if thing. If we then consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. Mm. That you Bad may news. better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. I know you're not in the least qualified to do this, but this is a video game. You have my thanks. And my axe. If there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. Thanks. Ever at your service, dear fellow. Thank you, you charming man. All right, we've survived again. A lot of talking in this episode, but uh, I'm gonna take a break. So until the next time, all the best.